Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Alfano. I'm the instructional technology coach for the Peak Skill City School District. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Slides and Kami to save your annotations in your Google Slides. So here we have a sample Google Slides presentation. This was just pulled from Slides Go. This is a complete template and I haven't updated or modified anything, but we have seven different slides in this presentation. Typically, when we use the annotate tool on the Promethean board, those annotations are there, but once we change slides, those are no longer saved and we lose some of that great work. So here's a new system that we can use with Kami. So in Google Slides, we're going to click on the button that says Kami, and this is now going to open up in Kami. I have my account set to open and log in with Google, so you should do that the same way in Peekskill. So here we have our slides that were pulled automatically into Kami, and we can see that every slide in our presentation is a separate page in Kami. We can add new slides if we need to at the bottom, and we can also see the page count at the bottom right. If we need to zoom this in, we can either use the plus or minus or the drop down menu here. We also have a full width button which will automatically fill the slides to the size of the screen to maximize the real estate. What we'll notice here is the name of the file is the exact same name as the Google Slides. So this is not a new separate file in Kami. These two files are actually linked together. So if I make any annotations, let's grab on the drawing tool and I'll go ahead and circle the word team. Number one, which is great, is that all of these annotations will stay with the content as I slide around. If I go back to my slides, we'll notice that there are no annotations in the actual slides themselves. But what's really great about this integration here is because it's not a separate file, but rather the exact same file linked, if I go ahead and change something in this presentation, for example, if I put my name here, if I go back to Kami, all I have to do, note where it says here is where your presentation begins. If I simply refresh this page, we're gonna notice that the content on the slides themselves is updating and I get to keep and save all of my annotations as we saw with this pink annotation here. So this is a really, really great new integration with Google and Kami because now we have the best of both worlds where we can create content in Google Slides that many of us love to do. We can annotate on our slides, keep all of those annotations with the work, and even update the slides and make modifications if we need to. So this is a fantastic integration between Google and Kami. And if we are looking in our drive, this is actually that file we can either choose to double click the file to open the file in Google Slides, or we can right click on the file and hover on open with, and we can now choose annotate with Kami. So this is another way along with the open in Kami button that we can actually get the slides imported into Kami. I hope you guys find this useful and really get to take some time to experiment with this because it's a fantastic way to annotate on your Google Slides and keep all of those annotations with your content. Thank you for watching and have a great day.